Hello, my name is Mary McAfee and I'm a personal impact expert and career development coach. And this is another video in my series of top 10 tips for communicating confidently. And this one is all about body language. we think about how we impact on each other in terms of the words that we're using. Maybe it's an email, maybe it's a conversation, we're trying to think of the right things to say, how to influence people, but often we kind of don't think about how much this is communicating as well. We process visuals 60,000 times faster than words. So when you show up in front of someone for the first time or subsequent times, they are immediately scanning you to decide whether you are perhaps a friend or a foe. This is all coming down to when we were literally crawling out of the caves and when we were confronted with someone or something, we had to quickly decide if this thing was going to eat me fight me or join me and make me stronger. And we still have these unconscious biases. We all have them. We are judging people all the time. And it's a really great thing to start to fire up that side of your brain thinking, am I judging this person based on perhaps a stereotype? Maybe it's based on people that I know that are like them. Or um, am I actually making an informed choice about this person? So if you think about it, you know, you walk past the water cooler or perhaps you're in the kitchen at work, you're making a cup of coffee, you see somebody, you have never spoken to them before and you go, I don't know what it is about that person, but I just don't like them. We all do it. We scan people and we decide whether they're going to be in our in group or whether they're going to be in our out group. So knowing that about yourself, that's what other people can do to you. So what we are going to try and do here in this video is to help you to mitigate the negative effects of other people's unconscious biases. And we can really help to do that by first of all thinking about what is this body saying. So for example, you will all have um, had, a, I've made an impact on you. You will have thoughts about me, who I am, what I like to do, where I live and so on, just based on what you've seen. So I'm hoping I'm having a positive impact on you and that you find that I'm quite an open person. So I've been with you now maybe for a couple of minutes. I'm now going to just do something quite different. So how do you feel about me now? Maybe I've had a different impact on you. Maybe you're thinking about me in a different way. How do you feel about me now? So I haven't done anything dramatically different. I haven't changed my personality, but what I have done is just stand in a different way. And of course there is nothing wrong with standing like this. I do it myself. It's relaxing. I'm standing on one hip. I've got my arms folded, my head slightly cocked to one side. But what I can perhaps be giving out in terms of a message, if people are just watching me, they might go, well, she looks a bit standoffish. She looks as though she's not bothered. Uh, maybe she's a little bit rude. Um, I don't know, she might be a bit of a bully, but I just, I don't like the way that it's kind of aggressive or passive aggressive, or perhaps just not bothered. And this one, Again, you know, sometimes we don't know what to do with our hands, so we fiddle with our hands. We're maybe in an uncomfortable situation. We might be in a networking situation. But what this is potentially giving out to other people is that I'm unconfident, that I'm shy, that I'm a little bit meek and mild, um, that, you know, maybe I'm not up to the job because I'm not engaging. So really think about how your body language might be affecting how other people are experiencing you. And the way to try and mitigate the effects of that is to stand in a neutral position wherever 
possible. And of course, yes, we can all stand like this, but if you're trying to impact on somebody, perhaps you are making a pitch, perhaps you're going to speak to a client, or maybe you're speaking to your boss about something, you're trying to get them on board, really think about this body language. And what I teach people to do, and this also comes from the theatre as well, this is how actors learn to um, put physicality into their performances, is just stand with your feet hip width apart. So your feet are directly under your hips and your spine is um, nice and straight. You're thinking about stretching all that vertebrae up uh, through your spine and I'd like you to think about a golden thread going all the way up through your body and suspending you from the ceiling. You can still move around but you are operating at your full height. There's no apology, there's no kind of like hiding or anything. Take up your space. Um, when you think about, I don't know what to do with my hands. Well, look what I'm doing with my hands. So they are relaxed. They are not in my pockets. Um, they're not behind my back in that kind of like I've done something wrong way. I'm just using my hands to express myself in a natural way. And when I'm, when I'm not using my hands, then they're just coming back um, into the middle of my body. Um, if you look at TV presenters, news readers, journalists and so on, this is how they tend to stand to, in order to deliver their message. So really thinking about your shoulders, shoulders are back, we're expanding our posture across our chest and when we do that, we are able to actually get more breath into our bodies, which means that we are able to communicate better, we're also relaxing ourselves, the more breath that we have, we're actually increasing our testosterone and we are decreasing our cortisol, which is our stress hormone. So just think about how much you can start to practice this neutral body language. You can do this when you're standing waiting for the tube, the subway, a bus, when you're standing in line waiting to get your coffee in the morning. So really think about expansive posture, engagement, eye contact, and really just having that lovely neutral body language. Um, it makes you feel more confident, you look more confident, and when you look more confident, people are more likely to trust you and think you can definitely do the job. So I hope that has been of use for you. Um, I've enjoyed sharing that top 10 tip on body language, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.